Knights. What do we got here? A warrior. Against Warrior, we want to save Wild Pyromancer for the super draw combo. Having Sylv on curve is probably okay against all forms of Warrior. We want Cthune super late in the game, so it's as big as possible. We want to get like the 4-2 Divine Shield and things that can help us tempo out. Having this is a late game card. In this matchup, we definitely want to go for A-drops. Maximize the chance of getting Tyrone. Alright. Chilling and passing like a priest. It's just not a great card. We kept one card that wasn't like oriented towards our curve, that's Solana's. We have a little bit higher chance of finding a minion to play here if we mulligan it away, but not much. Could have kept a wild pyromancer played that on curve, but we really want to save it for the draw combo. So I don't think we want to be throwing it out there. Right. Put the damage on that so it can trade for me, I guess. Also, so if he has ghoul, his guy dies. I think it's reasonable. Well, I don't want to play a 3-5 into that, because it's just going to die. He's got 5 power presented to me. So, my options are play a 3-5 to eat a War X charge and a 2-1. Seems awful. Heal pass, or forbidden shaping, also seems horrible. So, I'm just going to heal pass. We could have played the 3-5 and coin power word shielded it. That may have been fine. Maybe I'm overvaluing the coin. I really want to coin Twin Imps, though, if possible. Well, other targets, so the other 2-3, Acolyte of Pain, only targets in the deck, right? So I think I'll take it fine here, just to get on board tempo-wise. We have to use the coin, which I'm not thrilled about having to use the coin, because I wanted to save it for Twin Imps, but we haven't found the activator for Twin Imps anyway, so I was hoping to try an activator there, otherwise, you know, jumping ship on the plan, trying to get our Cthune up to 10, so it actually works. Right now we're in 8-8, eight, eight. we just need that one extra activator. We've got a lot of activators in the deck. And I try. And I try, and I try, but I can't get no. His is at 10, so his 7 drops is going to be live now. Ours is at 10. If we play this, if we play this, we're not killing that. So it's a bit awkward for us. Do we care? We can cycle the power word shield if we want. I kind of want to just out can I ping. But I want to set up for the guy. Torn. I guess we'll cycle power word shield. We don't have Wild Pyromancer or any of the combo pieces, really, for the draw combo anyway, so I don't think we need to hold on to the circle. If this eats the War X charge, we're pretty happy. Well, I don't feel great about playing 4 sixes into 6 sixes. So I'm more inclined to just death it, or plop Sylvanas into it. And death seems good because we fill out our curve with Elise, so that's why I go with this line of play here. Not being on board this whole time, though, allowing him to accumulate so much armor isn't, generally speaking, the best way to deal this. you got to be pretty aggressive in this matchup, and we, we missed our curve entirely and haven't had the ability to do so. Now we're in business, though. Now we're going to get two four sixes down against nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So great. We can do this a little bit later. The other option there was to do that this turn. We don't want to do this on turn 9, right? So we can't do this on turn 9. we got to wait till turn 10 to be able to play it. Play this card because it's flexible, and then in certain matchups it's just not flexible. Well... Well, committing another minion in this situation is pretty weak to Brawl. What are you going to do? Didn't want to double trade into it. Could have committed Disciple of Cthune. I think that just makes us worse against Brawl. Firebat, do you ever plan on doing anything relevant in the competitive scene, or are you just going to be a caster from now on? Feels bad. Wow. Why do you try and hurt me so? Brawl was just used. I say we 
Let's keep our board healthy, go in. Circle's not used for board clear in this matchup. Circle's used with uh, North Shark Cleric. I'll try and get that sweet, sweet draw value. Draw my entire deck and then just snowball him. Yeah, we have to be aggressive, right? Because he has the, the tank up. If we're not aggressive, he's going to take us to fatigue. Execute comes out. Alright, most important thing this turn is not to play Twilight Darkmander and deal 10 damage to herself. So I like going here. I don't want to set my guy to 1 health, so I think I want to go here. So then my guy's a 2 health. He does have another ghoul remaining and just other effects that do that. And I wanted Forbidden Shaping at 8, so we can get Tyrion. And every A drop is good except for the Boogie Monster, so we nailed that one. Never Rag. Ragaros Light Lord, I guess, would be worst case, because that would just start killing our own minions. So this is better than Ragnaros the Light Lord. So, alright. It's not the worst one. It's just not a great one. Two Shield Slams, no Executes used from our opponent. Alright, all I need is any generic spell, and then I can do the whole Wild Pyromancer combo for draw. I, have no I do think I want to get Sylvanas down here, but if I'm getting Sylvanas down, do I even want to make any trains? I want Sylvanas to be able to take something. He's going to go here, and then here, and then there's potential I can kill it. Otherwise, we can just have him have a bunch of damage minions and draw a bunch, so I think I just want to do this. And just pass with the traits and let him do that whole business. He's gonna kill Sylv. I only guarantee he gets something this way too. Cool. This is awkward, him prioritizing keeping this alive. I guess it's helpful and bad. It's not that many cards that we draw. We could wait on it. I think we just want to get the 6-5 out there without dealing 10 damage to ourselves. Force them to start using executes. Yeah. Or we could draw 3. Let's draw 3. Mm. Let's draw three more. Uh, missed the cleric on it because I spent too much time thinking. Could have drawn six in the second circle and then overdrawn one. We would have drawn seven. I know right? oh, these would be damage, yeah. Three, six, seven. We could have drawn three more cards, overdrawn one. So I guess we did it, okay. We're getting close to our lease. Monkey time. Monkey time. What does snowballing mean? It means a few different things, kids. In Hearthstone terms, it means one thing. In real life, it generally means another thing. Oh, baby. 6-2 lives? Where's my second Shadow or Death, and why is it not in my hand? Shadow or Death. Get her done. Uh, snowballing is when you can take a board lead and then uh, increase on it. Build on your board lead. So when you have a head on the board, when your buff cards are active, buff cards are generally speaking more stats than just general stat for stat minions. Like a 4-5 on 4 is like generic stat line, for example. And then a buff card of, you know, Dark Iron Dwarf even is like a 6-4. So that's like more stats than are normally accessible if you have a minion active. So you can... Do what's called snowballing your lead, which turns a small lead into a bigger lead. And then, in other terms, I don't want to go into that, so those are the different snowballs. We want to deny draw, so Shadow of Pain comes out for sure. What are we doing with the rest of our mana? We have eight mana remaining. I think we want to cycle this in. Gotta start finding that a monkey. I don't know how many cards we want to draw. He has one brawl left. I don't know if he has it or not. Odds are, you know, getting to that point where he is likely to have it. So that's scary. I don't know how many cards... I don't think we want to draw any cards in this situation. 
So I think what we want to do is just kill here, test for Brawl completely. I think if he would have had it, he would have used it that last turn. Manavi has it, he's definitely going to use it. Getting the Brawl out before we start bomb training him with legendaries is also not that bad. I'm trying a card is probably better than playing a 2-3, honestly. One more. I think this is the last card we're going to draw the whole game, though. We want to get Dark Mender out of our hand before we play the Monkey. That's why I want to draw, because we need to find the Monkey and Dark Mender. Because we don't want to play... A th we don't want to turn a 5-mana 6-5 into a random Legendary, because it's just too good at a 5-mana 6-5. I don't think I want to play this. I want to turn this into a Legendary, right? All of these turned into Legendaries, except for Shaping, Cthune, Monkey, and uh, Dark Mender. Everything else turns into a Legendary, right? So there's no way he has Brawl. Start with shaping. Cool. I'm still going off the fact he doesn't have Brawl. And I'm playing around Brawl by not trading off his guy, so his guy also dies in the Brawl collateral. Just going all face. Ghoul is a sick top deck there for him. She one execute down. Both ghouls gone, one slam gone. So he has one slam, one execute for the execute combos. Both disciples of Cthulhu's gone. So odds are is unlikely for him to have a way to kill this Cthulhu besides Brawl. If he top and he doesn't have Brawl in his hand, so he has to either top deck Brawl. Or an execute activator, unless his hand is exactly executing an execute activator. If we go for this, and I want to go for Cthulhu this turn, so I can go Dark Mender, Golden Monkey next turn for the reload, so I don't have to trade anything. I push phase damage. Killing him is good. So even if he brawls, we got that sick reload. Man, he was at like 60 life this game. There's the slam and the execute. So his two cards were slam and execute. He's a god. It's not incredibly unlikely, but... Alright, so we got 4-5 pressure. Wow, we're really grinding him down. Alright. So yeah, hopefully he doesn't top deck Brawl. He's got 6 cards left. It's getting to that point where he's getting likely to top deck it. Alright, we got Yogg, which is great. Paltris is great. Harrison, not so great. Crag? Yeah, it's above average, I'd say. How many spells have we played this game? Double Forbidden Healing, Double Circle, Double Power Word Shield, One Pain, Double Death. Um, that's nine. I casted like nine spells. He's trying to counter Monkey, but we're already ahead in tempo. So I think playing Yogg is the way we lose this game. We don't want to heal any of our minions. We want to trade this in, right? Trade this in, Confessor Pilch just heal. But let's see what legendary we get first. We could get Ice Owl. So we heal our face, see what we get. Dun dun dun. Ooh, that is a splendid one. Cthulhu Warrior. Priest simply the superior Cthulhu deck. Got him. To the sick brand value. It's dirty. If he gets vaporized, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> 